poems of the times just a little spoken word piece for you today this piece is called what am i missing and it goes something like this hey why are you looking at me like that why are you looking at me like that am i missing something am i missing something anyway the convergence of the mighty minds and the elitist of the elites of mankind are arguing it out. This side is making a mocking fool out of that side's clout. One is at a loss as to why the other's boss has got it all so very wrong in class and arguing yet the more about the letter and the law. And as to the spirit of the long time draft which they drew and draw. And as you already know, the law is the law, and no one is above the law, not even him, nor her. But you also know that I am really, really rich, and can afford to buy her some whipping switch. So said that one there at the top of the glitch. So, we'll see, we'll see. And yet they argue on about this and about that, and about what the framers of those very laws samer must have thought and would have written down and etched in class. From thousands upon hundreds of years ago, they are long dead though, but what was to have been their thinking when those said laws were being framed and fenced in? Ask some of them on this siding, while all the while, those of high profile are defending on the one side, are amending on the other, in order to be sending some other someone somewhere through the turnstiles. Especially those some ones who are known to have lied, steal, cheated, among the many other awful vices which is known that she did. How was it he? Maybe increasing the foul play all along the way, from the very first day of the stepping in of their first right feet, so it would seem, or the wrong one to eat, seasoned with beans. Or was it the head instead? Could be that you know. Could be that instead, lying yet again there on the bed, and who are known to have bragged around somewhere in town, talking about such deeds long done, are those which could yet be done in time to come, without anyone even stopping his gun. So spoke he openly in the street, even, and never even so much as to think a stink thought to turn it down in parts even when the thermostat was to have gotten turned up really hot to get eated yet the more at that spot yes the headship of his head and the council of councillors were known to have begged and said to her clients here in aids four times so they would have as said begged begging yet again to refrain from the speaking game and would have said it to them just before praying her half to bed. You are unwell, they said. You can't help yourself. So go, go on up to sleep on the topmost bunk bed. And to cover your feet, they pleaded and begged. But eloquent was the one. He who stood up on a stand in front of a frenzied admiring clan. The cheering on of the fans there, prodding him on. And lied long straight ties. Sorry. I meant to say, face, lied straight faced to no one's distaste. Oh, what a disgrace. But just in case they should stick a microphone to camera up in your face tomorrow, say nothing more than this to her. We did nothing wrong. We did nothing wrong. Yet, yes, yet they argue on. They, them, them and their highly placed able-bodied men. We did the very same thing which you and yours did do and would have done them too. So they say, nothing more, nothing less, nothing wrong with that, I guess, nor with you. So, how come? How comes no one had called for any form of a reprimand? No accountability came at hand, Dan. Not even one such as you are now calling for from these our highly placed men of war. Therefore, this is a hoax, this is a farce, fake news, and the rest of the arts. But, as for us, we are instructing everyone under our immediate command not to be found cooperating with anyone, no, not you, not them, nor with the sleuth of their demands. But, 
If the cooperators should go on and cooperate, then we are going to open up the gate and call them out straight. Those from over there on your side of the plate. Those who just like us did nothing wrong. They too did nothing wrong. Like that which they would have done when they did in like manner as our own. Like our very own had done. No, they did nothing wrong when they did those things. Nothing which they would even want to hide from anyone, it would seem. Same as how we didn't do it on our side of the pew stand. But come they must, just like us, come to testify about all of the right things which they, just like us, did do. Or even the wrong ones which both of us on either side did not do on the bus. Both them and us. True? True. This one over here though, has got overwhelming evidence to show. He was to swear so, and then go. Gone off to the picture show. And he was going to use it all to prove that what we had said that that one had abused and did is true. And she's culpable. And you ought to have her removed. Or was it he? Him? Same thing. Though I would really appreciate it if you were to show me some of the facts and things. Those facts which you have got lots of over there and the locks and hidings. But that one will not because... These facts are all that we have got here, and it's all that we have got to put us in the clear. These facts are here to prove that we are aware of your hiccups and the pack, and of course, we did nothing wrong. We did nothing wrong. We are not like some of you and your someone friends who, on the other hand, can't seem to get anything right. Not even the other side of your left-handed bills which you write. Nor the articles which you had wronged when you had ventured out to write out our wrongs. So went on the educated ones. Well, nothing wrong with that party, Amal. Nothing at all. Nothing but for the buttoning up of the bottom lines off of the bottomless pit which he is just about to fall into quick. So said the topmost thirds of the three tiers of the wisest of the wise men in here. And the same also came from among the elites over there. None was able though to bridge the gap and to shorten the divide which exists and persists between the two many sides. But this one over here has got the perfect solution clear. And the answer is hold up in his sweaty and beer. Which was to come down to just one as I was to hear. Which turned out as it must to be just this one and the boss. Let's leave it up to the voters, he says to the camera turned up in his gaze about hers, and hence was to get him in and on the post to be there and posing, out there on the media page spheres in a couple of days enclosed in, just over there. Yes, let's leave it up to them, the voters, to decide therein, so said he and lied again in my hearing, and I was like, what did I just miss? What did I miss? What do we make of that? And of this? What did I miss? Again I had was to ask and hissed. In a situation such as this, I could not help but hiss at the abyss and wonder out loud from the backside of my speech. What did I miss? What did I miss? We have got to trust the voters, they say. We have got to trust them enough to make the right decision on this one-sided, busted, right, left-handed play. Right? Right. And why is that? Someone was to have asked a mocked, mocking the answer which was quick in coming back, coming from the elitist of the educated pack. It's because, came the answer fast. It's because, just like the paying customer in business class does and do, the voting voter in politics too is always right. Isn't that right? Right. Well, of course, he is right too. He has sure got the right, and the left foot of shoe, and the power, yes, he has got the power too. It's all there in his right hand, by the shower, and in the one left of their best, and the hour. The power to make the right call, and the proper decision test after all, yea, of all of the others with or without a vested interest. It is he, the voter, we. It is us who have got the correct answers, as we must. 
the power to get them and the rest of us all out of this hell hole of a thinly divided one sided messy mess brawl which those others over there with purely non politically motivated interest clear did have and the best of all from the onset and even before that call fear fear but no it wasn't they then it wasn't them who had gotten us all to digress and to divert from serving the people's best interest then which was the only reason why the voters had gotten interested in the messy business in the first term. That place there? Yes. But anyhow, let's move along now to the better place of the first test. Yes. Because the people, as said before, are the ones who knows what's best for sure. So let's put them to the test, said that one decked out in vest. The test which we had gotten ourselves together from the past and was to institute on the voters list fast. Whatever they say is the correct answer right away and that decision shall be binding for the next four to five years and winding, winding up to stay and pointing towards the next generation's fears too, so they say. And if we should somehow manage to last long enough under these said conditions, while the other thems, while they get richer and fatter and mightier is proper and get to secure for themselves an elevated place for their future and in history and hers, while they, the other day, like we, we get poorer and weaker and fewer and meeker and wasting away even the more er, and get so blinded by the glistening lights shining shining off of the stencils and trashy wrapping papers bright and binding so much so that they we us and not them but us those of us who can't ever seem to see anything but our guts and a few other buttons and bolts maybe maybe there will yet remain a bit of hearing left in the hearing aid for these us to hear the piles of dressed up nonsense which they the other we tells them there when comes the next election year so much so that they may go out again and vote for them and not me not us and much more of the same the most outrageous pile of duckling lame but 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 who is to be blamed really sure not me nor us but them nearly those who will be able to do the most nothing for the most of them Nothing other than to do them, you know, like, like, to do them in, again. You probably get the leader which you deserve with her. Well, so they say, would have happened when you went out and to play, and would have swallowed the broth which they had served up and tossed. No, these are they, those, the bosses, boss, and rose, those which you get with the polling fingers, and poles, yes, there they are. From the highly sophisticated down to the lowest bum dressing up the business class in the house of the gated near the bar and the showroom windows and the wasted, among other things which they did. You know what I mean. But we are not talking about those in the center of the schemes of things. We are talking about those two extremes where voters in elections lies somewhere in between. Yeah, there. In them is where all of our solutions lies, naked and bare. But what the heck do I care? Said that man over there. Beware. Voters, you had sure better beware. I thank you.